Hey, what's up? It's alchemist.camp, where we learn to be better Elixir programmers by building things. And today we've got a Q&A from Benji Wheeler on Indie Hackers. He asked, Re Alchemist Camp, I'm actually very interested in your project and in Elixir slash Phoenix. I wonder if you could write something or make a video addressing in more depth how the experience of coding with Elixir slash Phoenix compares to other major languages and frameworks. The chart in your first video is helpful, but I'd like more context. Here's where I'm coming from. I'm a veteran dev and a decent but non-expert Rails and JS dev. But man, do I dislike Rails. I find all the stated assumptions endlessly time consuming and prefer less helpful handholding and active record never does what I expect it to do. I'm forever investigating why my Rails apps are slow and man, do I dislike the endless fragmentation of the JS world. I learned React last year and found it a frustrating mess. React's core ideas are great, but coding outside the render function is never changing mess, and it's impossible to debug. As a developer, my enemy is trial and error. As a Rails and React dev, I spend more than half my time guessing what problems might be using, guessing what problems might be using trial and error. I much prefer hacking things with Flask and jQuery, which hardly ever have assumptions that I have to guess at. I've been thinking of learning Vue.js, but some friends have been pitching me on Elixir and Phoenix. Okay, so I am not a super experienced Rails developer. I've built some things in Rails. Most of my background is Node.js, and I was initially Backbone in 2013 at Groupon, and then I used uh, uh, React, uh, pretty much starting from 2014, I did quite a bit of uh, stuff with React and all kinds of uh, other frameworks on top of it, like stuff that, like not Redux, but stuff like Flummox that's already pretty much gone. Uh, and yeah, there's there's a lot of churn in the JS world, which can get uh, a little bit tiring. But um, I would say my experience going from Node which I knew much better, to Rails, which I didn't know as well, was that it was just super productive and quick to get going in Rails. And when I did have a problem, it was exactly the kind of thing you're talking about, where um, Active Record is doing 12 things when I only know of two that it's doing, and sometimes it's, it's a little tough to figure out what assumptions were made and what defaults are and often like those defaults are reasonable defaults and things that I would have arrived at myself over time. But uh, if you just don't know what they are, you can, uh, um, you can be in for a rough debugging experience. However, uh, I, I think Rails is unified enough as, as like a community and ecosystem that it's not too hard to get help. Whereas with JavaScript, uh, it's kind of mix and match at every single level. So a lot of times nobody, or, or a lot of times if you're looking for uh, the solution to something you're struggling with, you'll meet a lot of other people who have slightly different setups and uh, you can spend a lot of time that's just wasted. Um, I would say in comparison, uh, Phoenix is and Elixir are more unified, like Rails is, and uh, a bit more explicit. Uh, so I like, for example, you're talking about forever trying to figure out why your apps are slow in Rails. Um, in Ecto, which is, uh, it's not really like Active Record, but uh, that's what you'll be using to access your database in Phoenix. You only, it only preloads things when you've explicitly specified that uh, you should should preload, say if you're loading up a user and you want to check the user's comments and their likes, by default, it's not going to load the user's de uh, their likes or their comments. And it's, it's not going to be uh, making those extra queries unless you pass in a colon preload when you're loading it. So uh, that that makes it so that there aren't too many surprises. Uh, I've, I've never had a situation where I just don't understand why there are so many calls being made to the database or, or never had any big surprises like that. And my general experience has been everything is way faster than I expect it to be and it's just easy. 
Now this may be because I've, I've been coming from Rails and JavaScript um, and I haven't been doing a lot of um, number crunching. I mean, if I were, I wouldn't be using Elixir for that. But I would say the, the productivity has been great. I haven't had that many headaches. Probably the biggest headache I've had compared to the experience with JavaScript is just dealing with JSON because uh, you, you've got to get a JSON decoder to decode JSON into Elixir maps. Uh, whereas JavaScript works very nicely with JSON, of course. So uh, that's that's my general experience so far. I think if you're doing a startup, it makes a ton of sense to look at Elixir and Phoenix. Um, if you're just thinking about what kind of jobs you can get, uh, I don't think it's a great idea at this time because there are floods Floods, floods of people. Because every time I see a, an opening related to Phoenix, there are a ton of people who are learning it and excited about it and want to do it. And on the flip side, a lot of companies, uh, even even startup founders I know, are very hesitant to build anything in Phoenix because they're thinking just about the, the huge size of the pool of JavaScript developers. So it seems like it's very safe to go with, with uh, Node in comparison. So that's, uh, that's my short-ish answer, and uh, if you have any questions about it, just leave them under the video, and I'll probably be doing these Q&As fairly often. So uh, until next time, code on.